Hello guys, Aaron here, doing another review. Today it is a tea review, as you can tell, but let me tell you why, okay? Went to the store, I only had $3 on me, because, you know, that's what I do. I don't ask my parents to buy me anything, I just scrape up change and whatever. I scrape up change and then I go somewhere and I cash it in. Alright, when I get the cash, then I go somewhere and buy it, alright? I only had $3. And there was not a coffee that was only three dollars. There was one for three dollars and twenty-eight cents, with six percent tax. With uh, all right, so it'd be thirty cents, all right, thirty extra cents. So it'd be three dollars and fifty-eight cents. Well, I asked my mom. I said, "Mom, do you have a dollar? Because I really wanted to do a coffee review." She didn't have a dollar on her, so yeah, she only uses her credit card. Anyway. Um, so I, was, I went over to the T section and I bought this Bigelow Constant Comic Black Tea. Now, at first, I really didn't look at this one. This wasn't the first one I looked at. The first one I looked at was like uh, the Tezo, which that was $4, so I couldn't get that. Um,. And then I looked at the um, Twining's English Breakfast Tea, and then I was like, man, everybody does reviews on that. And then I saw this one. I was like, well, never seen a review on Bigelow Constant Comment. I got it, and kind of what I did. Uh, I've tried this. I've done this review three times already, trying to do it. And uh, this is my third time, second time, actually. Did it earlier in the day. I drank me a cup, and then it was all noisy and everything from the traffic where my room is. Um, so um, it's not like I live by interstate or anything. I just live by a road, and cars go by, and you hear a big old truck in it, and I kept rattling the box and everything. So I'm just gonna redo it. And this is actually my third cup of this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, read the package. It says, Big Ol' Constant Comment, Black Tea. Our first and most famous blend flavored with a secret recipe of orange guy and sweet spice. All natural. 20 tea bags individually wrapped in full pouches. Freshness stays in and air and moisture stays out. Net weight is 1.18 ounces or 33 grams. I'm trying to read slower because of my other videos. I read really fast and you can't understand me. So. It says, we are proud of our recipe, the Bigelow Original. No recipe makes us prouder. To this day, members of the Bigelow family are still the only ones who blend this secret recipe of black tea, rind of oranges, and sweet spice. One sip and you will know there is no tea like it. Take a whiff and then enjoy the one and only constant comment. Ingredients, black tea, rind of oranges, sweet spice, natural flavor, and it says R.C. Bigelow Corporation, Fairfield, Connecticut, 188 Bigelow, if you want, 1888 Bigelow, if you want to contact them, or BigelowTea.com, blend in the package in the USA. Um, this has 30 to 60 milligrams of caffeine. It says, here's the key. We use a special full pouch to protect your tea from any air, moisture, and surrounding aromas. So open and enjoy the unparalleled flavor, freshness, freshness aroma of Bigelow tea everywhere you go. R.C. Bigelow Incorporation. It says, I promise we're fully committed to satisfaction and we love to hear from you. When you do call, please share the code number on this box. Um... So about it, uh, on the top it says, a source of constant comment in 1945 inspired by an early colonial recipe, Ruth Campbell Bigelow disappeared into her New York brownstone kitchen to create a better cup of tea. After weeks of trial and error, blending black tea with orange rind and sweet spices, she emerged with the first cup of specialty tea. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me make sure and it just has that and I did see this and it was kind of cool the barcode was actually a tea kettle so. 
Alright, and it doesn't say anything on this that it did in there. It says, we hope our tea delights you. And then on the top, it... On the top here, it says, unlock the freshness and enjoy. Right there. So let's go ahead and smell this before it gets deep straight out of the bag. The first thing that hits me is the oranges. You can definitely smell that. Tangerine. Kind of smells like if you've ever smelled potpourri. And if you don't know what that is, it is a blend of stuff that you get for like Christmas and everything to make your house smell good. It's like green and purple and blue and all these colors. Anyway, that's what it smells like. Let's go ahead and uh, smell this. Still a little bit of that orange and the spice, that's what I'm getting. Uh, I don't know why they call this a black tea. It kind of looks like a maybe a white tea, but it's it's in the middle. It's definitely not a black tea. Let's go ahead and uh, taste it. Not as strong as I was hoping it to come on. I hope that was gonna come on like really strong and just like punch you in the face strong, but it's actually really weak. And it does say to steep this for two minutes and I steeped it for two minutes the first time. This time I did it for like three or four and it's still weak as can be. Yeah, it's not really strong at all and I'm getting cotton mouth too. Mm. It leaves the aftertaste. It's nice, but it's real cotton mouthy. One of the worst ones, or well, not worse, but worse for a cotton mouth. So. Mm. so, I am going to give this one a seven, a seven and a half out of ten. And the cotton mouth always takes a point off for me. So that's why that point was taken off. The other one was because I didn't think it was it's strong and I need more of that orange. I'm just tasting straight up spice when I drink it. I mean, there's a little orange, but it needs more. It needs more orange, definitely. And then it's and the other the half was that it was weak. I mean, this was really weak. This is, it's like drinking hot water. There's no tea flavor or nothing at all. But I do like it. I really like it. I just need to have more of that orange, but definitely less of a cotton mouth because that's overpowering. I mean, that's terrible. And then it just, it's too weak. That's the only thing that gets me about this. Which I will definitely buy this again. Um, I'm more of an Earl Grey kind of guy. Um, yeah. So for further reviews, um, JSG bonus one. I'm trying to get that Javalia. I've been trying for you guys. I can't do it. My friend uh, Ryan uh, Bowden he requested that I do Maxwell's French. So that review will be coming up. My other friend um, requested, Kyle Thacker requested that I do um, Max Pass Wake Up Roast, which that one's a light roast. Um, if I buy a coffee that's canned, it's going to have to be a small can. And I, I know one place that sells Wake Up Roast in a small can, and it's Family Dollar, and it's usually. Alright, this is the road, alright, here's your house, we usually go that way, alright, we hardly ever go this way, and that's where Family Dollar is, so, the next time I go there, I'll definitely get it, but, I told him it might be a while, and I know I haven't done a K-Cup review in a while, 
That is because I am stocked up, people. I got a whole drawer full of K cups that I need to get rid of. And then I got three packages of the Hills Brothers. So I really don't need any more coffee. I just want to do one because, you know, it's been forever since I did a review. And I know that. But, and I'm sorry this video is going on long. I got a lot to talk about. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't posted a video in a while. It's because I'm low on money, and you know, it's um, not that easy to just go out and buy it. As always, I'm trying to get the Javalia, the Madash, the Dorio, the Diorio, Diorio. Oh, boy. Um, there's another espresso I'm wanting to look look at and try that. I don't sell in stores. I found on Amazon and Brick. It's called Cafe La Lave. And it's Cafe and then LA and then L A V V E. But anyway, I'm trying to get that and yeah. I'm trying to get some of these reviews out of the way. Go check out my friend Mystery Coffee. It's great reviews. Go check out someone new that's been uh messaging me on this her name is Momo to the chip. I don't know. I'll leave I'll just Leave it in the description because I you probably won't know how to spell it. But, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely go buy you some of this. Um, might need like some water or Gatorade afterwards because it is really really dry. But that's fine. See you guys later. Catch you on the next one.